Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of whatever stuff. <laughs> anyway, so today what we have here is a big ass monitor. <laughs> yeah, to put it lightly, it is a big ass monitor. This is a Philips Momentus 55 inch Momentum. Momentum, not moment. Why did I keep? Why you keep momentum? Momentum? Okay, anyway, it's a 55 inch monitor. It's not a TV. It doesn't have any smart TV features. It's purely for display output with a built-in soundbar. So with that said, the Philips Momentum 55 is designed for console and living room gaming in mind. Yeah, technically it's bundled with an Xbox Series X. So if you buy this, then you'll get the Series X together. So yeah, let's let's just begin and talk about this monitor, yeah. not yeah. TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to start with the design of this TV, what do you think about this design in overall? Clean. I would say so as well because I was not expecting them to have the soundbar integrated with the monitor itself. Yeah, it's permanently attached. So if you want to warm mount this thing, uh, I think you still need to take out the feet, the, yes. the leg, but then the soundbar is still permanently attached. Yeah, the soundbar is actually attached to the bottom of the monitor mm -hmm. and the VESA mounting point is at the back. So you basically just need to remove this steel fit and then just wall mount it okay i mean at least for you to wall mount it it looks cleaner you don't have to like find another way to mount the soundbar mm. but if you have your own soundbar then this built-in soundbar will be just there i mean redundant i would say but the reason why people are buying this monitor is not just because of the built-in soundbar alone one of these feature they want to highlight is actually the HDR1000 certification. Actually, I would just say outright, HDR is a very complicated standard. Yeah. Actually, it's not really that standardized. It's just a bunch of guidelines for you. If you want to follow, you go on ahead. They don't force you to follow it, but yeah, that's yeah. about it. Basically, what this HDR1000 certification means is that they can achieve the peak brightness of 1000 nits. I mean, in certain situation, but not all the time, as in sustained brightness. Yeah, sustained brightness is always lower. So if I can find a chart, I'll leave it on the screen. For those who are enjoying HDR contents, especially if you purchase the bundle with the Xbox Series X, then you can have the Xbox manage all the HDR content for you. So in that case, if you have those HDR games or HDR videos, things like that, then it will make full use of this panel. Mm. But in our case, we don't have the Series X with us. Yeah, so we ended up using a PC instead. And PC, Windows PC in general is quite okay in terms of handling HDR, but finding HDR content is another issue. But luckily, you still can get some of those HDR contents on YouTube. I mean, if you want to test if your HDR is working correctly or mm -hmm. not, you can use that and personally i think the best way for us to test the hdr on windows platform is actually on those hdr capable games so we tested some games what games you test oh actually i tested the uh formula one f1 2019 unfortunately i don't have the latest one but that game is capable of uh, outputting hdr contents and i compare them side by side the standard sdr and the hdr mode I find that the HDR has more contrast when it comes to those lightings and reflections, things like that. It means the, the, the bright points and the dark locations. In terms of, uh, let's say, in the race during the night, SDR, you can see the sky is slightly grayish. It's not like perfectly dark and probably because of the bad light is trying to like display the bright spot on the display and then at the same time it causes everything to become grayish and wash out. Mm -hmm. At least HDR is capable of uh, showing me the dark skies and very bright spotlights. Mm -hmm. So I guess HDR works great in games. And there is one thing actually I found out. Mm -hmm. the not, not just me but some users actually found out like HDR may not look very good in some yes. situations. 
Yes, even for me, because if we do it in a very benchmarky kind of way, if you put a completely black background with the white cursor moving around, then you can see bending, you can see a glowing box. Yeah, yeah. But this only happens on Windows mode, so I'm not too sure how it will reflect on those consoles because right now we don't really have the Series X or, Series PS5. X or PlayStation 5. Yeah, and one more thing is that this kind of benchmarky thing, of course you can see it, but if you're gonna play games with fast moving action and whatnot, True. you probably is not gonna see any of those things. Yeah, frankly speaking, throughout my entire gaming test mm -hmm. using this monitor, I have the game in full screen, obviously, and I don't really notice any of those bending nor color shifting issues happen. So I would say HDR works well with full screen applications. Okay. So 4K, 120Hz, amazing. It even supports up to 144Hz. Probably you need to use the display port, connect to the PC. Yeah, yeah. However, for consoles, the maximum output is just 4K, 120 Yeah, it's all HDMI. There's no display port on consoles. So yeah. Okay, speaking of that, this monitor does have how many inputs? 3 HDMI 2.1 inputs and 1 DisplayPort 1.4 And then one more USB Type-C? Yes, one more USB Type-C Okay, so I would suppose the USB Type-C is using DisplayPort Out Mode 1.4 Yeah So you can go up to 144Hz on okay. 4K with that One more thing that I think a lot of people will want to highlight The full name of this thing is actually the Philips Momentus, Momentum 55 <laughs> with MB Glow. Yes, yes. MB Glow. What do you think about the MB Glow? I would say, sir, a lot of traditional TVs that don't have MB Glow, you can replicate this with something like the E lights. You can just stick it behind and whatnot. Yeah, actually, Philips Hue has this. Yeah, feature, they have so. that as well. So, what they do now is integrate all of those things in this TV. So, it's a standalone unit with the soundbar, MB Glow, all of those stuff for more immersive experience yeah, the, with a compact footprint. The MB Glow is basically a series of LED yeah. SMDs yeah, around the around perimeter, the at, perimeter the back. at the back. So what happens is that, for example, in this OSD menu here, if you want to configure to follow your audio or video, you can do it. So for example, if we choose follow video and then when the scene changes color, then the MB Glow will adapt to it. Mm. So what we realize is that there's delay in the MB Glow it's a slight delay. I'm not too sure why the, the timing is slightly off. Slightly off from here. Not yes. sure if they can actually update via firmware to fix this. Mm -hmm. But for what I can say, currently it's a bit jarring. But but if the color shifting is not that jarring, it's actually quite immersive. You can fill in the gaps around there, then it's much more immersive. For example, if you're playing racing games, right? For yes, yes, you can actually see what's uh, happening. Let's say if you race in the night time, then there's a lot of uh, lights going on around. Yeah, yeah. Then, then the MB can, Glow can, I mean, replicate the the feeling of the passing feeling by of passing the street by. lights. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. If you don't want it to follow the video, you can also make it to follow audio. Mm -hmm. Or otherwise, you can make it static. Static, choose your own color. Or choose your whatever. There's also a side color cycle option as well. Yeah, that one's for showcase, but if you want to use it in rainbow mode. I mean, it's up to you. Up to you, at least you get the option for that. So the integrated soundbar, this one is made by Bauer and Wilkins. Bowers yeah, and yeah. Wilkins. Yeah, 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 I got the name correct. So Bowers and Wilkins, b and quite a famous brand for audio. So integrating their soundbar into this monitor, I would say it actually sounds quite decent. It's basic enough. Actually, it is a very good deal for mm. a lot of people because when they first got a TV, most of the time they won't get a sound system together. And then they like realize, guy. yes, I don't have a sound system together with my TV. So obviously you are subject to all the torturous experience with the built-in speakers, whatever the TV have to offer. But now, if they integrate together with this TV, at least out of the box, you get better audio experience. Mm -hmm. And do remember, this whole thing comes in a package, so you don't have to pay an extra cent just to get that soundbar. And for sound quality, I think it's better if you just listen to it.
one more thing that I like to mention is viewing angle is actually quite good so we can view from left or right side of the TV and it still looks consistent overall in terms of colors so this remote control is actually very feature packed as well so we can adjust the volume brightness we can't do it now because we're in HDR mode and then what the heck is this button I mean this oh. is for smart HDR okay you can select whichever the built-in HDR profiles they comes with the TV then after that what happens is we can go OSD menu of course like what we mentioned earlier this OSD menu is actually quite good it's very nicely laid out a lot of options for you to choose from then another input selection as you can see here triple HDMI one display port and one USB type C so Philips Malaysia is selling this monitor bundled together with a Xbox Series X mm -hmm. the official price tag is 6299 ringgit malaysia that's for bundle and they never really display the price for a single monitor alone price so i would say for 6.2k ringgit malaysia is actually a pretty good deal for a 55 inch monitor together with an xbox if you're buying a display 55 inch with all the features packed in hdmi 2.1 somewhere uh -huh. yes that's very important and a series x together good deal actually. I think it's a good deal even if you are not a fan of HDR I mean you still can turn it off and enjoy it as a standard monitor good deal overall good deal and that's it that's it uh, for today a very quick uh, view on this Philips Momentum 55 if you guys have any questions about this particular monitor you can leave it down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video